Morning, we're back. We're going to do a steel job today. We're just going to put it down, it ain't going up, so it's going to go level with the ceiling and then uh, get cut down there. It's already marked walls up and that's steel. Not that big, so shouldn't be a big deal. There's a wall above it and it also goes into the loft and supports all the um, purlins. So we need to make sure we get enough props in to hold all that, right? Let's have a look. So that's the steel, and then he has marked up walls here, look where he wants it putting in. And we've got some pad stones. We just took cove off. Um, it's got a brick course there, so that brick course has got to come out, and then it'll go up to this block here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to prop front back. So we'll go through here. So we're going to run as props through this side, and then steel on that side. If you aren't already, if it's your first time doing a steel, and you can only get in one way, then you need to put your steel at bottom, then your props in first, so you can lift it in, otherwise you can't get the steel downside of props, so don't make that mistake. Right, we're gonna have to cut some of this ceiling out so we can get us props in. Alright, so first problem we've got is when we put acro up, it touches this first instead of that. So we've got a bit of Indian stone uh, that we've just found in the garden. <laughs> and we're going to put that onto back, onto front up prop, and it should give us a bit of a gap. And then uh, we're going to have a 20 mil bed under lintel, but we might just pack that with slate or some, or some uh, steel shims. Um, so that's the only way to do it, to clear this beam. It's exactly the same on the other side, the run that way, so we, even if we go on the other side at wall, we're still going to have the same problem. So what we're going to do is literally... We're going to put us prop up, that'll go through the ceiling. That big hole I've made, we're going to have to make four of those, and then we'll put a bit of a shim on like that, and then we'll, we can drop, we know we can drop us prop, because we've got to get us props out at the end of it. All right, let's do that. That's it, so we've got all four in on this side. Could have probably gone three, but better to look at it than for it, as I say. Off, so Tim, Tim and Josh have just screwed these holes, and then we're going to use this. I've shaped that just in case I need to dig it in, so I've put some extra cuts in it, it seems to work. And then this will uh, just go down with other joints. Do you see that? so we can get this prop out so there's eight inch steel and then i've got another um nine inch for us uh pad stone so that'll be his pad stone that'll be a steel i've worked it out it's a 200 over and so well 180 so we'll come back 200 from here so that that's where the steel's going to go so if we cut that out and that out we'll try and leave this bit in 
if we can we'll, and then we can just put the pad in and it'll sit on 200 that way then we'll do the same on the other side so I've just put laser on top of that unit there and then we'll just measure down so we have got 45mm just double check 45mm and then I've got uh, nearly 21 on this mark that yeah that's right I'll put some pencil marks on there and we'll go to this side oh god fall in and then I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so that's his laser mask, and that is a steel here. There we go. And if I come across, so yeah, just want to check that. Yeah, so we've got a 10 mil gap there. So where are you? And then we've got five mil there. That's quite tight. I've just got to make sure the steel's going to go in with. Yeah, I've got 10mm there, so it's going to fit, which is good. You've got these knocked out. Just going to get what dust I can off it. The only problem with these pad stones that you buy, they're never straight, they're always like length. It just makes life twice as hard. Crap, really. Um, yeah, so engineer, there's been an engineer on here sorting this out. So he's sort of specced it all, put steel in that. And he says he wanted a full pad stone in. So that's why we're putting a full one all the way along, just so it. Passes then inspector's got to come out and uh, have a look at it before it's before plasterboard goes on. Oh my god! And then it's gonna be um, then it'll be um, a pink fireboard plasterboard on it round here because it's uh, kitchen. I think they just make you put it in. On everything anyway now these days you just end up putting it around every steel pull that back a bit so it's going to plaster over a bit more yeah it's quite quite a thick lot of plaster that try and pull it up oh it's not bad at all it's a bit high up front Right, I've got them set up, ready for the steels. I've got a couple of shims under each end so it doesn't sink steel when we put it on. And then we'll work out this gap. We might have to dry pack some concrete or we've got some concrete bricks so we'll work out what we've got. We're just going to put it on and see what it see what it comes to. Because uh, we can't squeeze it up anyway, we're going to have gap. So, we've probably been better leaving that brick course in to be fair and having it lower but we wanted it as high as we could get it so. It's a shame about that joist and this joist here because that's what stopped us going fully up otherwise we'd have been all right anyway time for steel let's crack on Once we get these in tight. 
Uh, so this is a dry pack. I put a little bit of water in it just so it just you can just get it to squish in otherwise it'll just fall out. So you have a little bit of water in uh, but it's pretty much dry. So I'm just pushing it in. Josh has just got a uh, well it's a lead on there. Just odding it at the back. So when I push it it doesn't fall out over the side and I can really pack it up. And then we've got those extra shoes in up each side as well. But it's ten past three. So once we get this bit in, we'll give it a tidy up and then what we're going to do is, we're going to leave it, uh, we're not coming back tomorrow, we're going to give it a full day tomorrow to set, today and then a full day tomorrow and then what we'll do is, I've got a doorway to break up, this wall to take down, this to drop, that doorway to do and then um, we'll drop these at the end of the day so these will add well, rest of today, all day tomorrow, and then home time, day after. Yep. Alright, we'll give it a tidy, wipe down and that. Um, skip it here, that's why we've got the rubbish, took all the big bits out. There's no point in taking that because we've got to shovel it all back up again. Uh, so that's that dry pack for now, so we'll let that go off, show you the other side. Uh, and that's the other side, and then we'll just pull these out, get it out in a minute, and then we'll break that up. So, you'll see us in a minute. Right, it is the next day. Tim's been getting that wall down, I've just been with Josh to pick some blocks up. Uh, it seems to have gone off lovely, that does, so... We're all good for that, so we'll get this wall out of the way and then we'll take them down when we're not banging about, just to make sure. So this is what I've got to brick up, this doorway here. So, it's got a concrete pad from this floor here, but then some plastic, and then it's actually got a wall under there. So, it's good to build on. So I'll just fill that in, then we'll build up. Missing a little bit, I could do a bit more plastic just for this edge here. Uh, might end up putting some over it. I bet I ain't got no damp proof though. He's got a couple of concrete commons, so we'll uh, use them as well if we can. Will that fit? Yeah. They're all breaking. They're not very good at cutting these. I'll do it. So I've picked 12 blocks up and then uh, no, really see how far they go. Well. And then I've got some, uh, co he's got some commons around that garage which have been there like years so we'll get rid of them for him. Right, it's just less than 900 as well, so it means I'm going to have to cut them all. Is that a little level anywhere? Uh, that tiny one. I ain't got a tape measure either. Oh, one here.
37. Yeah, I've got that level. So. Yes, I don't think it's uh, plumb this wall. Yeah, I'm going to use these concrete commons now. Save them a couple of quid on blocks. Let me take you higher. Electric Avenue. Electric Avenue. Always, Josh, got you on camera. There's always a cut to do. <sighs> Need some more of these as well. They are um, busted up now. No good. No good to no one. Resharpened them a few times and um, they're not really any good no more. I need to buy some new ones. So yesterday we were supposed to be going back to that flagging job and what happened was my fault I didn't wear any uh, goggles on um, Monday and then I got something in my eye and I thought oh it'll come out in a couple of days I'll be alright and then um, it just didn't and I was washing it and washing it and washing it and it just will not come out and um, yesterday instead of um, laying flags these two had a day off and I went to hospital and I had um, a bit of metal took out of my eye, I think it were off blade that got me an eye and uh, scratched all my eye so I just I went home and literally just had my eyes shut all day and felt sorry for me then but that's what happens when you don't wear goggles so. So I'm hoping uh, feels a little bit better. It was so this morning, like, but I'm hoping next couple of days it's going to be all right. She said if it feels any any worse in the next 24 hours, I've got to go straight back. But hopefully, 
it'll be all right. It's not too big. It'll do. Let me take you higher. Do we have um, 600 level really? We only have sharp sand left now, so I'm going to finish it off with sharp sand. I'll show you where we are. I'm just using what. Um, what he's got left outside. Remember this? The old porch. It's absolutely chucking it down today. So yeah, it's what we had left from lagging and that. So let's get it used up, eh? Your last call for you. Will it fit? That's the question, isn't it? Yep. The wet brick seas as well, but this should dry out nicely in here. Oh god. It's all over the floor. The fit. This is it, I phoned her, uh, I just rang to see if he'd rank the inspector and he says uh, he's not coming well tomorrow, so he'll have to um, get it passed off when he comes. Like, I'm going to try and get him out today and then if there were anything I could have done it, but it's going to be fine anyway. That's well, just completely fell off. <laughs> Give everything a wipe down before we go. So that's it. Door done. Steel in. Up both sides. Or oh, just patch these little holes in as well. Same on that side. That's it. Pretty much it. We're all done in here. And this is on the side of the wall. There we go. You see where all the water's coming out with these wet bricks, but it's done its job. Just gonna tidy this floor. Then we're out of here. 
so that's it guys hope you enjoyed this one um we're gonna take acro props back now see if we can get them in um well we've got plenty of time what time is it about half one it's a lot, yeah. so it's about half past one we're gonna take props back and um yeah early day we could go back to that flagging job but it's still raining outside so it's just pointless pointless going there today hopefully it'll be a better day tomorrow but i doubt it because this rain's been pretty bad lately right anyway catch you in the next one